Well, hello there. So today I'm going to show you one way to use a mobile hotspot or a mobile data plan to connect your Arju Pilot autopilot to a ground station on the internet. So just for some background, uh, using an Arju Pilot with a telemetry radio modem uh, is a, a good way to start and definitely an easy um, first choice to do. So shown here in the picture, we've got the ground station has a USB RF modem. The boat here using autopilot has a RF modem and that makes a serial connection that works really nicely. The limitations on this are the power. Um, so if you buy a more powerful radio transmitter, you can get more range out of it. Um, but then you run into licensing issues. You may need a ham license. Um, and this is really only good for clear line of sight. If you're behind buildings or over the horizon, uh, you'll have trouble making a radio modem work. So this picture here shows the telemetry radio setup that's very simple, just needs the Arju pilot and the ground station. So one alternative to that is to use a Wi-Fi connection and the mobile network because that would be limited only by the mobile phone range. So as long as you have a cell phone connection, you can use a mobile link. Uh, it does require Raspberry Pi as the bridge. Here's a look at the inside of the boat. Um, it's got a Pixhawk autopilot and it's connected to a radio modem. It also has a payload computer. This is connected to my depth sounder and doing other things. Um, but this Raspberry Pi is connected to the serial port of the Pixhawk and it can act as a Wi-Fi bridge using its Wi-Fi connection. This is a diagram of the system with the Raspberry Pi. So we've got the Arju Pilot and a serial connection to the Raspberry Pi. Um, I use Mav Proxy as the Wi-Fi bridge, and then that goes over internet using the TCP connection to the laptop. Um, this is a really easy connection to set up. If you use, for example, the, the Raspberry Pi as a hotspot in AP mode, then you can connect the laptop directly to the Raspberry Pi and all of the IP addresses and everything are easy to find out. Um, or if you connect the Pi and the laptop to a local Wi-Fi hotspot in your office or something, uh, this is easy to, to connect. But it's limited to the Wi-Fi range there, which isn't very far. If you connect your Raspberry Pi to a mobile data hotspot, for example, I have one of these little hockey puck things um, that I run a monthly plan on. And so the Raspberry Pi can connect to this. And then it's on the cell phone network and it connect anything to the internet. Um, then if I connect my laptop to the internet, uh, they should be able to talk to each other. But finding the right IP address, especially with the dynamic IPs that you get with these kinds of plans sometimes, um, if you drop and reconnect, it may change the IP address. So that's the trick with uh, using the mobile data is finding the addresses to connect both ends. So the solution that I've used is to have a central server here. So this is the internet shown in the cloud. And we have a central server that the Raspberry Pi connects to and then the laptop connects to and that way they both know where to look for the right connections. So there are different options for your central connection. Um, this UAV matrix is not something I've ever used. I think it's a paid system um, that, that streamlines all of this. Um, what I've used is a program called NGROC which is a tunneling program um, and that handles making the IP address, it basically maps your local IP address on the Raspberry Pi to something in the NGROC IP domain. And it works nicely with TCP. There are other tunneling things for mostly web servers, but if you need a pure TCP link, um, NGROC works quite well. So 
So to make this work, you have to do a little bit of setup on your Raspberry Pi. You'll need to connect the Raspberry Pi to the internet with your mobile hotspot. That's really easy to do. Uh, you can use your phone as a mobile hotspot as well. Um, for example, if you're a university group project, uh, you can designate one person to put their phone in the uh, autonomous vehicle and somebody else uses their phone on the ground station and you don't have to buy a separate plan. Um, but whoever risks their phone on a boat, uh, they shouldn't have to write the report, I think. You can, you can divide up the work. Um, once you've got the Raspberry Pi on the internet, I really do recommend using the real VNC server that comes with Raspberry Pi um, so that you can remote log into the Pi and see what's going on. You need to install the ngrok software on the Raspberry Pi, which is a free download. It's not something you can compile. You have to get the executable. Then you need the Mav proxy um, Python scripts that will bridge the serial port from the Arju pilot to the Wi-Fi. And you have to wire up the serial port from the Arju pilot controller to the Raspberry Pi. If you haven't done this kind of thing before, there's a lot of documentation on the Arju pilot website. And there's a nice video if you want to watch a Drone Dojo sets this system up uh, using the local network on a quadcopter in this video here. So I'll put a link in the description where you can see it here. All right, well, let's give it a try. So I've got my, um, my boat is turned on and it's connected to my home network. So this should all work. So I'm gonna to connect to it using a VNC. Um, it's this one, the boat's name is Nemo. So here's the desktop. And so I'll just start up a command window here. So the first thing to do is to set up and run Mav proxy. This connects to the autopilot and sends the autopilot information, the telemetry information out on a TCP port that we specify. So it's mavproxy.py, and then you have to specify mostly the port that you want to send it out on. So 14441 is uh, the default that a lot of people use. So this would be the minimal configuration. If you use this command, it will auto-detect your serial port for the telemetry information coming in. On my boat, I have a serial port connected to the depth finder, um, and it tends to, to try that one first for some reason. So I use this command here where I specify the output port, and I need to specify the input port here. I also run a separate Python script on my boat to talk to the depth finder and record all of that information. So I send the telemetry information out on two ports. So I can just type that in, mav proxy pi out equal tcp in colon 0 .0 .0 .0. that's the local host. 14441. And I'm going to also use this master command to say where the data is coming in. Dev TQIS0 is the port on the IO pins on the Raspberry Pi. Oops. Capital S. So we're connected up to the Arju rover, and everything's working here on the Raspberry Pi. So you can type commands here to show things like a map and other interesting stuff um, if you want to. But we're just going to use this right now as the bridge program. All right, so the next thing is to start ngrok, and that depends on where you uh, installed it. For me, I just left it on the desktop. So I've got ngrok is right here, and um, it's got the program inside. So I need another terminal window, and it's the path is desktop ngrok ngrok 
and I want to tunnel a TCP connection on port 14441. So whichever port I chose as my output, I put it here. Alright, so the next info was to look at the connection info um, from the command line and from the ngrok dashboard. And so now what we get is down here on the forwarding line, localhost 14441 is mapped to this IP address, 2.tcp.ngrok.io port 18317. So I can use this information to connect my ground station. You can also check the ngrok website. So let me bring that up. So here is my, my status. I logged into ngrok and you can see that I've got this is tunneling um, for me. So this would be the, the network that I can connect to. So if I lose my um, VNC connection, I can always look again here. And now we can run the ground station. So I'll show you on Mission Planner. So here I'm using Mission Planner and I'm going to connect up here. So I'm going to pick TCP. I'm going to pick connect. Then I have to put the IP address which again from VNC viewer 2.tcp.ngrok.io last time it was 4, this time it's 2 and then I have to find the port again from the VNC viewer 18317 and we'll see it connect So now I have my um, boat connected over the internet using the mobile Wi-Fi and I've got NGROC handling the tunneling and IP configuration for me. So I hope you found this useful and if you did uh, let me know in the comments and if you have any questions put them in the comments too and if you have a better way to do that put that in the comments. But anyway I found this to work just fine and hope you like it too. See you later.